This is a Full Circle Podcast show production. 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 Crime. Crime. Let's get it together. Education. Let's get it together. Marriage. Let's get it together. Politics. Let's get it together. Full Circle. Poverty. Poverty. Let's get it together. Race. Race. Let's get it together. Full circle. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Full Circle Podcast Show, episode number 55. I am Daryl E. McCullough, the same poet, and as always, I am joined with the songstress, Carmen L. Miller. How are you? We made it to 55 episodes. Can you believe that? 55. <laughs> We're a middle-aged married couple. Wow. The, the, the look <laughs> Just you two. Hit that before I hit you. Oh. Good good Just good you two. Wow. I'm still an infant. That's good doubt. Hey, so uh, also the fitness gurus here, Erica D. White. Ooh, Erica ooh. D. White, how are you, Erica? I'm doing great. I like, I love that you say my middle initial. <laughs> Erica D. White. And he actually, like, if he sees me somewhere at the grocery store, he says it just like that. Well, too. everyone has, Carmen has the L, yes. I have the E, you have the, the D. The D. <laughs> I do have the D. I'm from the D. <laughs> I, I get the D. Wow. <laughs> I like the D. Sorry, kids. <laughs> And um, we have an in-studio guest here. There he is. Keith Reed Sr. Hey, how y'all doing? What's Hi, going Keith. on? Nothing much. Working, now, uh, working hard, working Keith, out. Keith, I'm going to give you an opportunity to talk about yourself, but from what I know, you seem like to be a really nice guy, and you're an actor, <clears throat> personal trainer, and a model. Yes, yes. Um, I, I do acting. Um, shout out to Prime A Vision. Um, came out with a local film. Are they film. paying us any? Um... You know, we're gonna we're gonna I, shout yeah, them out be, anyway not... because because <laughs> yeah, well, Mr. Little money. I'm great just people with you. and I like them. <laughs> I know, but um, they, they might have to order some royalties. I do. I do. <laughs> we are looking training. for sponsors. <laughs> um, I'm an actor. I'm a model. Um, I model for uh, a couple guys out of Detroit. Um, shout out to uh, Mr. U's Closet, uh, Rodriguez Underwood. That's my homie right there. But, uh, you know, a little bit by myself, um, I, I grew up in Toledo, Ohio, uh, been here born and raised. And, you know, I, I got to that point where I just wanted to be successful. You know, I wanted to help out with uh, other people, you know, get them healthy, um, you know, being an inspiration towards other people. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Is that what well, all great. these tats are for? Is that what this is all, all for? All these tats right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> that's behind his ear. I mean, is that what that's for? All that's these, inspiration. You know what? All these tats right here, they, they tell a story. Sweet. Um, my left arm basically represents... Uh, I hope it's a short story. I'm playing. Very short. <laughs> I'm doing, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't resist. You know what? <laughs> um, it actually tells a story. Um, my left arm represents uh, death. Um, but not in the in a bad way. But um, I have, you know, my mom's tombstone, uh, a few cousins, uh, my grandmother. Um, it basically just tells you that uh, not to be afraid of to die. Wow. Okay. You know. Um, well, let me let me t give you a story about my tats. Uh oh. Um, uh -oh. That that would uh -oh. be a very short uh -oh. story. Um, I don't. Not... I have. I don't have. Not. I don't have any tats. Here, let me so pick you up, bro. That's like not Here, a bro. thing. Let me and you know what? Right, right, I was right, going to get one. Right, one I'm going to be yeah. honest, and we're going to move on. Let me write on. my name on. You. I was actually <laughs> going to get a tattoo. I was going to get a tattoo. Really? And and I was going to get a bullshit story. No. Let me do my 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 best Anchorman impression. I don't believe you. I was going to get. The sun <laughs> around my navel, and somebody said, "Don't do that. that it's gay." No, you yeah. don't do that. Um, but yeah. when I was growing up, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, no. Who are your mentors? So then I just said, "Forget it. I won't <laughs> oh do. My gosh. I won't do um, tattoos. I'm gonna get the wrong one, and I got this thing on my on me for the rest of my life." Daryl's gonna get a tramp stamp. <laughs> Let's <laughs> move on. Um, wow. Yes. Moving on. Moving moving on. on. <laughs> yeah. So. Yes, Carmen. Uh, well, he, we were talking, uh, Daryl and I were talking about uh, This Is Us briefly. And Can I we know, not have any spoilers? I know that you didn't see the last one, so I'm not going to give any spoilers. But I, I will say this. Um, this Is Us, 
is like emotional porn. They take you through every <laughs> single emotion That's in why I stopped every, watching it. every single show. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have Kleenex, don't watch the next two. Well, see, this is what happened. Don't watch it. If I you... was going. I took a three-hour nap, mm -hmm. and I was going to ride it out. And then I happened to go on Facebook, and I saw Carmen's post about This Is Us, and I was like, I totally forgot about it. Oh, my so God. So I was... I thought I was two episodes behind. Carmen's telling me I'm three episodes behind. Well, there's one coming on tonight. I went to bed at 1 a.m. this morning and had to be a, uh, leave for work at 4. So, but here's the thing, and, and we'll move on. The great thing about This Is Us is that it, it shows us the melting pot that we live in. Oh, yeah. my goodness. And, you and like it shows this? the good, the it's bad, amazing. the ugly. It's but it gives you, it gives it to you in pieces and parts. It's, it's amazing. It's not overwhelming. It's not crammed down you your throat. You know what? I love it. I, I yeah. love it. I love the writing. Can you believe style. you just said that? You know what? I'm no, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give credit where credit is because because I'm proud of you, big because boy. Because it could go, could, it could easily go to another direction. Okay. All right, so let's get ready to have another fun and exciting show from the perspective of a liberal, conservative, and independent state of mind. Yeah, baby. Today's topic we chose to discuss as twelve years a girlfriend, but not a wife. Uh, as always, we should have some interesting calling guests to give their opinion about the topic. And this was brought to you by our in-studio guest. Keith, what? <laughs> 12 years a girlfriend, but he's never been a girlfriend. See, you know no, what? I can, no, I, no. I can already anticipate this being, <laughs> being a very interesting conversation. <clears throat> Sounds like some, what's that, cultural appropriation? Uh -oh. Some man appropriation? Uh -oh. But all right, we're going to uh -oh. let you have it, though. We're going to let you have it. Wow. You, you, have, you have to prepare. Oh, okay. All we right. To prepare. Just Be like Kim Kardashian and them. Um, come on, Rose. See huh? there. See there. All right. Before we get begin, <laughs> we're going to get into this by thanking uh, everybody who's <laughs> shouting us out and listening in. And I'm glad that, that our... Our guest has been one of the people who have been who's been uh, promoting you, our Keith. episodes and listening yes, and liking. Yes. Um, also, thank you for liking our Facebook page and subscribing to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or our YouTube channel. Ooh, also, ooh. don't forget to check out the Roundtable Podcast and Two on One with Tina and LJ, which is all a part of Full Circle Podcast Network. That's right. This first segment is brought to you by Three Kings Clothing. I got a one of their t-shirts at home. I, I, I saw that. Yeah. Yes, nice. they made this medium just nice. for me, y'all. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> This is an apparel company that supplies quality clothing with a connection to pop culture and current events. Yes. Check them out at www.3kingsclothing.com and you can find them at 3 Kings on Clothing on Facebook and don't forget to check out their new podcast, The Roundtable Podcast. You forgot something, Carmen. What's that? And they are the they they are the only people where you can get or receive mm -hmm. the one and only uniquely crafted Dan Award. Oh yeah. yeah, you cannot oh, yeah. get the Dan Award anywhere we, else. We yeah, that's yes, fine. Oh, we can't check. Oh. We can't say what it is. Oh. No, no, no. But you gotta watch. <laughs> but you gotta listen. You gotta watch or listen to the Roundtable podcast <laughs> and find out what that is. And if you want a Dan Award, all you have to do uh, see, is you link yourself what? to their you page. <laughs> they will gratefully give you. Sometimes we've been all three at one time. But. We've got more slots open for sponsors as They're well. They're going fast, though, Carmen. They are going so fast. Get your sponsorship. What was your friend's name, Keith? What were them people's names? <laughs> <laughs> They're going fast. Fast, get in here. Please contact us at full circle podcast show at gmail.com if you want to be a sponsor. We boom, want boom, boom. Cool. Beautiful. All right. So getting into what's going on in the world. Well, briefly, uh, let's talk about le uh, last <clears throat> podcast. And that topic was lingerie or naked. What's hot in 2018? Mm -hmm. um, I think it was naked. I think that's what naked. we Yeah, we went with naked. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh, that, oh, was yeah. A, <laughs> that was a consensus. We did naked. naked N-A-K-I-D. You know what? We, we are adults. And we handled ourselves, I think, in an adult fashion. The full cir full circle podcast show way. We we it Yay. was fun. <laughs> it was exciting. It was adult with um, some class. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. well said. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check that out, please go back and check out that episode. It was and hilarious. She, and you're gonna learn about what kangaroo pills are. Um, because <laughs> yes. we classy. Yes, <laughs> I, I actually uh, tried one of those and I, I didn't they swallow were for it. Women. I chewed that's it. Not, no, those that's, were for women. I chewed it first. But you chew, but they were mm. for women that's though. Not. It's for women. Yeah, it's yeah no. they get you drenched. You don't want to be Why, drenched. Listen, you know what? Let, never mind. Um, drenched. So, ne never mind. Never so, mind. Drenched. so that that happened. Okay. Now. So so what was it uh, like? We have. I tried we have. So we, I got some. I got something what, what I want to share like? with you guys. Oh, okay. So that happened. Uh, oh, I got something we, I want to share with we, you too, though. Go on. You know what? I I want to apologize. I'm giving my apology real quick to you, dear. I cannot forget this. I'm sorry that I've been using indigenous. You know, I know that's one of your words that you don't like. So I came up with something else. What, what do you call that? 
Aborigine. I'm going to start now? using Aborigine instead of Indigenous. I don't. I don't. I don't. Think Does that, that is that? I don't feel think they better? mean. Do they? Do they mean? They the don't same mean the same thing. thing. Indigenous That's Aborigine. Yes, they do. They mean people that are originally here. So instead of Indigenous, is okay if I use the Aborigine? Aboriginal. Okay. The Aboriginal Aborigine. Is that okay I, with you? Ask Herman. Um, oh, I'm, you seem like you got a little chip on your shoulder yeah, there. Ooh. I felt that. That was Ooh, a little chilly. Cold. Yeah, yeah, I felt okay. that. No. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm wearing a big sweater today because no, it's wow. a little chilly over there. <laughs> Don't well, be getting all aboriginal I'm not, not going to go off the cuff. I'm going to read right off the paper because this is this is worth the, the wait. I don't okay. know what okay. The, okay. that Iberigine didn't. No. Thing. <laughs> now, we got an email from a Natasha Ratner. Who, who is, is an a indigenous uh, person? A personalized trainer and dietary coach in Arizona. Nice. nice. She sent us an email. Said I came across your videos on YouTube and became a big fan Yay! of the content. Thank you. Keep Natasha. up the great work. All right. All right. What's Daryl, up, you are awesome. I mean, that it just says didn't that. say that. Well, I don't, I'm, I'm see reading that her email and I don't see I don't that. But, see that okay, but we really appreciate that. We do. <laughs> so if anybody does email us, of course we will uh, uh, give you a shout out on uh, on our show. So. Shout, shout out, out again. Shout out, Natasha. 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 Thank you. Um, before we get into politics, we want to introduce the segment for Carmen, and that's Carmen's clean slate. What Which you got for really us? really a clean slate on this piece of paper. He always does that. <laughs> it's wow. so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what I'm talking about today. Today, I, I, I was uh, inspired last week, and I, I did a little inspirational um, post about what people think and when it comes to money many people have the game twisted um i see statuses and comments online all the time about people chasing dollars and i hope they realize that money is just a tool you don't see carpenters chasing hammers stop treating cash as it's as if it's synonymous <clears throat> with wealth wealth is a quality of life it includes your health your physical mental and, and spiritual health and your well-being and factors that allow you to enjoy life so many times people chasing dollars don't even get to enjoy the spoils of all their time because it's spent in the pursuit. Stop looking at wealth from a material perspective and watch your paradigm shift. What good is cash in a desolate environment? The Bible even says that what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? Look deeper and be of more substance. And that's Clean Slate. That's right. And if you if you don't believe this, all you have to just look at Black China and um, what's her boot name, Rob. You can see how this happened. When you worship <laughs> think, things I, like that, how things just go to the side, just like you said, it's linked like VA juice. You cannot do these things to worship money. You know, who else can I think of right now? Uh, well, you know what's interesting? Chris Brown, baby mama. See, I um, thought I heard. Um, I'm, we we got to tighten up the time oh, because I'm sorry. we are really, really behind. <laughs> but seriously, I'll, I'll Black, I'll B-L-A-C-C, -C, Black China. I, I'll briefly yeah. say this. I heard uh, someone, you know, a lot of people say, you know, you rest when you're dead. You're, you're dead you rest basically. when you're dead. So there are d uh, two different types of concepts out there as far as chasing whatever dreams that you want. I I'm think not, there's a happy medium. I think that I, I think people confuse the the monetary with the actual dream. I mean, it's it's one thing to enjoy life. It's one thing to you know really build something that you you believe in. But if it's all about the money, it, you you'll never you'll never be an it'll never be enough. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just like pimps. And, and rappers, the way they chase that's... ass. <laughs> no, they chase ass totally I, I differently. I There's an analogy yeah. here that we're I, I missing people. Let's just, just, let's just have one but, show. But, yeah. but this is an analogy. That is, that it works. Is PG. Okay. This, okay, but I'm saying some people aren't going to get money. I mean, you get money as a rapper and a... a yeah. Am I right? Mm -hmm. And then you chase right. ass with it. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Daryl, you wouldn't know this story. Well, so um, what you got in politics? Because entertainment is going to be huge. Okay, so and we can um, really just skip over it. Oh no, here, buddy! I have notes today. No, we've, we're we're going there. Um, the State of the Union address was a big dud. Uh, apparently, um, I, I don't. I disagree a little bit, but go on. It was Carl. a Let's huge. It was a huge dud. Um, it the ratings were lower than the last three pres sitting presidents. Um, also, uh, in terms of what was talked about, it is estimated that he lied uh, about every. 4.5 seconds in the uh, State of the Union address. Also, um, the inaccuracies uh, led to um, him being snubbed by the entire Democratic <clears throat> side that actually attended. And the National Black Caucus? And the, yeah, the Congressional Black Caucus. He was, he, he was upset about being snubbed um, in terms of the reactions uh, from the crowd. 
the thing about that is, you know, if you look at it historically, uh, especially within the last administration, it was very, very um, partisan in terms of all of the State of the Union addresses. Within the last couple of days, he's even accused uh, Democrats of being treasonous for yes. not clapping for him. Mm -hmm. Which is absurd. Um, we Can do... I tell the definition of that, if you don't mind? Go right ahead. So, and we all know this is because he's about to be charged with treason. So, yes. again, this is for not applauding. And he's the treason. Let me do that. The crime of betraying one's country, especially by attempting to kill or overthrow the government. Uh, oh, you know, um, so they should have thrown teddy bears also. That's <laughs> what I said, you know, because... <laughs> Why, what would make treason, why is it clapping is treasonous? So let's think about when Joe Wilson yelled lied, in 2009, you lied, you lied to Obama. Exactly. Right. Okay, so we have the right to passionately disagree. Absolutely. And when we stop to do that, we're no longer Americans in this country. I, and we have the I right agree. to definitely stand up to a liar that is dividing this country. We definitely do. But he well, did say, go, go on, Carmen. Here's here's the other side of, uh, and oh, if you have something to add to State of the Union, go right ahead, because I'm moving into well, it. Well, well, he did mention something about the American dream. Oh, God. And, you know, I, I look at it like, am <laughs> it I, slight, am, what is American am I living the American dream? No, what do I want? No, he said, he said, Americans are dreamers, too. You know, so it's like, okay, so here's, here's, in this country. Where, here's so, where we are with that. That's pretty divisive when it comes to looking at, um, the, the mention of uh, the, the dreamer aspect, mm -hmm. um, that will, that's something that's still being uh, contended. This, this budget amendment that uh, his, mm -hmm. has been proposed is still being held up because there is not a consensus on what to do with uh, the DACA Act. Um, and there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to that. In terms of the language that he was using, it was coded and divisive. Um, because what happens is he'll say things that appear on their surface to be pseudo patriotic and, you know, get his sickle fans to, to applaud in that. Trump tarts, I think they're called. Yeah, well, well yeah. you know, it's Trump tarts. It, okay. If I think like this, um, I'm happy. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm employed. There's, there's food in the table. Uh, there's food on the table. There's food in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I mean, all that but, happened. But Erica all that, said to me, all once, that has happened for the last ten years. Just because that hasn't, there are things not happening. You know, things are going well with you doesn't mean that you know it, it's right. happening. It's with, all good, uh, right? Right. right. And I understand that. Okay. I understand that. I'm saying, but I'm not suffering or anything because thing. of Donald Trump. Here's my thing. Were you <laughs> suffering because of the last administration? Were you oh, suffering God, yes. because? Oh with, with uh, so? what's his face? What What in your life changed? significantly or materially in the last 12 months I, what changed i don't have it on the outline you you didn't nothing that's because nothing changed and i'll tell you what did change in the last couple of days the dow dropped more than it has in history in one day right. um and that's because a 2018 is a direct result of Donald Trump's budget as opposed to the 2017 budget, which was yes. a re which was written in 2016 by Barack Obama which he's been and claiming his administration. Credit for. Right. Now he's claimed all year, mm -hmm. uh, all 2017 credit for the work that Obama did, but now this is his work, and we're seeing the economy uh, react. And let to me give you the Trump stats presidency. on that. So let me bear the uh, facts to back you up, if you don't mind. Here. Go right ahead. So this week is Welcome to the Jungle. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I had to do a little um, thing there. Gun As the, the Trump economy, <laughs> that's right, takes <clears throat> over, y'all. Under Obama, this is a fact check here, the Dow Jones Industrial Average never dropped before. Are you ready? Ba -da -da -da, 650 points. Correct. In a single drop, okay? Under Bush, because you're a Republican and I don't want to leave out my friend over here, Darrow, 778 points. But Trump, are you ready? He's shattered. He's broke the record here with a record. Are you ready, guys? Mm -hmm. 1,178 points. Ooh. Terrible. Uh, that's, ready that? Recap that's terrible. Of, the that's Don, terrible. of the Don's day so far. Are you guys ready? Uh-huh. He's The stock market is in the toilet. Mm -hmm. The Dow is at the record setting drop. Trump is accusing everyone else of treason. He <laughs> is something weirder weirder is going on with his hair. Uh, Melania, yeah, they got some uh, marital problems going on. And the Russia scandal is closing in. 
And his Republican clapping allies have also, they were clapping for him, but he might as well not let them because they're handing him over releasing of the um, Mueller memo that I think our girl is going to go right into. Okay, the Mueller so, yeah. memo there. So Devin Nunes. But they were clapping for him okay, and so, then they hung him out to dry. So Devin Nunes. What about uh, your tried friends? To exactly. <laughs> tried to provide air cover for Donald Trump by releasing a redacted and erroneous memo yes. to, you know, Accused the FBI of wrongdoing <laughs> when it came to surveillance. What is this number six or number five person that he's got rid of that were investigating yeah, him for this, it, right? This, it's ridiculous. It's okay. So, so with the Nunes memo, they tried to you know make their rounds and 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 create this smoke screen of uh, something being you can wrong jump with in here the anytime, FBI. Darryl. No. So I now, just, so, so today, move, so today, <laughs> they've they've actually. Um, they, the the DNC and the uh, GOP have actually moved into putting uh, uh, Schiff's uh, memo on his desk so that the DNC memo can come out. And the truth oh, can well, be known. Is he gonna let that? I, Let's I, I, see. Let's we see. Have, now see that that's that that is the the that's tipping what point. On, girl. Now if he allows the if he since he allowed the GOP memo to go forward and we all saw what a dud it was and the fact that it was um, basically a big fat lie um, and nothing in it pointed to wrongdoing on the FBI's part. Um, we're gonna see if he allows the Democratic memo to go forward. I wow. just want to go with some, with some tweet backs real quick about your presence. It'll be real quick there. It'll okay. take less than two minutes. So tweet backs. We got to start adding these. To I the, like the, that. The tweet back. All right. The tweet back. The so this was after. <laughs> that's right. After Jay Z went on, I, well, um, was it Van um, Jones show? Yeah. Um, on policies on like black Van employment. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> on policies on black unemployment. You know, he tweeted back to say Jay Z needs to look at his record on black unemployment, mm -hmm. but he said nothing about the poverty rate as it has become worse. Exactly. Okay, so blacks have jobs, but they're still poor. All right. <laughs> um, and then let's not forget that my my favorite um, tweet back was when Trump tweeted an attack on the leading um, Dem, Adam Schiff. Mm -hmm. Am I saying this right now? Uh huh. <laughs> And he called him little Adam Schiff and accused him of leaking, being the leak here. But Adam Schiff tweeted back and said, hey, biatch, <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm quoting here, stop executive time, using executive time means stop tweeting while you're at work. Right. Okay, and do something. And um, from that, I'm going to say that I think t um, Trump is actually the leak. He's doing a lot of leaking on Twitter. So let's look at actually who is leaking what? I think when we start well, looking I, at I, that, I, 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 you know uh, that. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of the president being on Twitter. I, I'm not a fan of Before, any I'm not president. A, I'm not a fan of uh, Trump at all. Um, I refuse <laughs> right. to I say the P word. And we have um, discussed this before. Barack Obama mastered it. But uh, it's not something that I think everyone should go into. Here, you know, here's where it's a different type of he didn't tweet like that. We've got, we've also just he didn't attack anybody. Just to keep it on your radar. Um, there is an Illinois race uh, where the GOP candidate is openly um, anti-Semitic. Um, I believe his oh, name. Oh yeah, is... he denied the Holocaust. Yeah, I, I heard believe about that. that his name is Nellen. So all politics is local. Illinois, keep your head up and don't vote for this bastard. Wow. Okay. Now, <laughs> did you hear about the if, breaking if news we, in Ohio? If we, Legislation if we voted. This whole I'm sorry. big. I just want to say in Ohio, this in, is something in, good. In 10 minutes, I think we'll be, we'll be on time okay. and, and our guests will be... I just want to uh, say this. I know we're moving in entertainment, but today Ohio had a victory. Did you know that? Yes. <laughs> Go Buckeyes. Okay. Ohio legislation voted on a proposal to reform congressional redistricting. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yes. So, no more gerrymandering. Yes. So wow. I'm telling you, you can be involved. This is how you do it. Text FIGHT, F-I-G-H-T, to 909-75. Again, that's 909-75, and get involved. We've got to make this go through. We need to make sure it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, Republican, or Independent. Your voice, your vote matters. Absolutely. So get involved. Cool. All, All right. right. Here we go. Let's dig. Okay. Our section is brought to you by Marmite Records. Our boy, hey. Hey. The label produced and owned by Eric Sills of Stone Soup Recording Studio here in Maumee, Ohio. So, so any of you singers or musicians looking to record in a world-class studio, please visit www.stonesouprec.com or check him out on Facebook at the Stone Soup Recording Studios and like the page. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Before I get into this, I got one, one, one too, little, we like. got one little gripe. What's up? Um, What's that? Why is why um, is Michael Jackson, Prince, or Miles Davis? Why don't they have a serious satellite station? 
Well, they owned their music and they owned their properties yes, and they, they, they own their own masters. Exactly. They own their masters. And because their estate hasn't released the rights, I think that's a smart business move because here's the thing. When you own your image, when you own your rights to your music, you have the power to determine um, how it's used. Which brings me to something I just kind of want to interject on the entertainment side, um, the halftime show for right, right. the Super Bowl. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? Before, be, be, uh, before I get into that, you, you want to report the deaths of people? Um, I think we should go oh, well, post-mortem gonna, after the fact yeah, because I mean, this kind of ties in. So, so kind of sad. Got it. Okay, so um, with the, the halftime show, which featured Justin Timberlake. Mm -hmm. Boo, whack, uh, sit um, down. You know what? We need and, and Janice boobs. Here, here, here's, here's, which was also Janet Jackson Appreciation Day right. on, on Twitter. Um, ironically so, because he still hasn't offered a uh, viable apology to Janet for taking. Hashtag me too. Exactly. Well, I, I don't um, know. For his first stint know. on the Super Bowl, th he grabbed her boob. No, no, I'm saying, okay, well, yes, he got that opportunity to come back on here with and that what he did. Did you yes. see what he had on? And Janet did not. Right. Uh, also, but I mean, he I did. actually thought he did a. I mean, okay, I didn't watch. Boring. He it did was a so decent boring. job. I didn't watch. Boring. Um, I didn't watch. I, I did hear this whole uh, hologram thing that was going on. Mm -hmm. The possibility of that with Half Prince Sheila E getting involved. His performance. What do we What do we want to happen with Prince? Um, and no one loves Prince more than well, us. Well, here's Herman. the thing. Um, Prince did not want his image to be used as a hologram. He thought it was demonic. Right. He was quoted as saying, "Okay, that you if are a anyone, Jehovah witness, aren't you? If If he were, I don't know why you're putting on my private business out there like that. I mean, that. you're a Jehovah witness, so you should already understand this. If he If he were <laughs> supposed to perform with artists. <clears throat> that were dead, he would have lived in the same age as them. Prince has standards. He didn't hold and, himself out. And in terms of the uh, the hologram itself, he thought that it was in bad taste in terms of the the way that it's exploited. So uh, Justin erred on the side of caution and just did a uh, tribute uh, with a silk screen. And, and I Prince. saw it, and I thought it was yes. I was nodding in and out a little bit, but I did see it, and I thought People it was. People said tasteful. it was tastefully done. I thought it was um, tasteful. He actually talked to Sheila E, and Sheila Sheila was uh, against the hologram uh, image possibility, which I think is a it was a, a good way to go um, because number one, in life, Justin Timberlake was not a. Uh, complimentary of Prince and Prince was not complimentary of Justin Timberlake. There was a, a diss in one of his songs as a result of the Sexy Back <clears> song <throat> and Prince had gone on an award show and said Sexy never left. Oh, so, okay. So <laughs> that was call, uh, But you know what that leads in something Michael Jackson I may that, add. That was Oh you the, a lie. It was not I know one. you lying. The be, the, Prince, the Beyonce if, if <clears> you no no I, Prince I have to go with Prince because he he actually performed in a storm and in, in the rain. Yeah. yeah. And if you Google amazing in that and Prince's performance doesn't come up your Google is But broken. let me go let me sure. go back to this Prince hologram was, thing. Are we just going to just veto this and no holograms whatsoever? I think that if the artist they tried it with Tupac and it wasn't I think if the yeah. artist wishes yeah. are yeah, explicit Tupac it wasn't uh, it wasn't very successful. No. If the artist wishes are you know explicit they is? shouldn't do it. They just um, shouldn't do Darryl, it. Do you know Tupac? I'm is? very familiar with uh, he played uh, with the um, Wu Tang. Did yeah, he? no, we're not going to do that. No, let's, digital underground. You anyway, know what? moving on. Let's move on to those. <laughs> let's move on to those <laughs> Lady Doritos, on. though. So they, they made Lady Doritos, and that Ooh. was announced. Did you hear about that? So, ladies, we can't get any cheaper feminine Did we products need that? or contraceptives. We can't get our contraceptives, but you can get less noisy chips that won't leave your fingers all, you know, girl greasy. Did we need I, that? Did right. we need so women are really offended quiet by Doritos? This. That's right. And I don't think that's something that we need at. Okay. Need? And for all those people without lives that are waiting to hear what Kylie's baby name is, we want you to get a name. Add, and we're going we're gonna to want you to get a life, not a name. Okay, because what's going to happen is you're worried about what their baby names are. Their babies don't have to get jobs. Your kids are going to have to get jobs. The right. only people that are not going to have to have get jobs are people that are rich, you know get what? disabilities, okay. social security, why food do, stamps. But why do um, they always name their babies stupid stuff? Because, like, they, because they think, like every other parent, that their child is extremely special. They I don't, don't have know. to get jobs. What, so what people stop waiting. Right. What type of name is So people like without lives, we blue. want you to get lives. Stop waiting Chandelier. around for what <laughs> people are naming their children. Wow. Okay, let's see who died. Now, now, now. Now, um, 
Daryl wants you, to move you know, you guy. moved it all that, so we're gonna have to move the dead people down here. <laughs> oh I, mean, I can't put them I'm in the sorry. middle. <laughs> Good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> now I'll I'll just go with with the, with with them at the end. Is that okay? That's we'll, fine. Let's move the dead people to the note. end. Okay. Okay. Uh, briefly, I see uh, your girl Jamil Hill. Everybody knows that she she's leaving. Is, is no longer on uh, Sports Center. She's on Undefeated, some website. Yep. Mm. So uh, I saw her on ESPN on last night. I, I I mean. She'll be, she'll be fine. She will land on yeah. her feet. You she know will, what? But she's an awesome host. Oh, everything before like the butt is bullshit. Sorry. I like her show. I liked her okay. show. Right. But did you notice that her show is totally different than all of the other popular sports Here shows? Here we go. Their Skip show was Bayless, the most Shannon popular. Sharp. Are you kidding me? Black and white person. You uh, know what? Uh, uh, what's I'm the guy with the big this. mouth? I'm not doing this with you. The, the so hot thing is. This. Black, white. No, it's not. Their show with the two blacks. Look at your show. Not Where's your successful. white person? Oh, my God. Are you going to put Eric in I'm the back I'm just saying. You got it's Eric all about over there in the back room. Can't nobody see Eric? It's all about diversity. <laughs> Eric's our only white person here, and he's in the back room. It's all about diversity. It's the truth. Are you counting me as your white so, person? It's really I'm just wondering now. I'm down to get offended here. I don't think I think he's counting me as a white person. I guarantee you that they're going to replace Daryl, I don't think you watch enough sports for that to be a thing. I'm watching a lot now. I, I, think I know who Skip is. It's Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp, a black and white person. Sometimes. Oh my God. Yes. Was well, that a snort? <laughs> it, he's uh, he's what's his watching face? a lot now. Um, <laughs> he's not watching those sports. His name? He's talking to his wife. He doesn't he's, know. He's listening to his wife. Moving on. Karen, help uh, your boo. But so, I'm just telling you. Help your boo. Yeah. The show is too black, is where I'm trying to say. I, I what is your podcast? Oh my God. What is what, your podcast? I'm not on national television, Erica. Oh, oh that's the difference, Daryl? It's all about diversity, people. You if know you what? We have a diversity of opinion because yes. your sucks. You're, anyway, okay. you're being very <laughs> aboriginal tonight. Okay. Uh -oh. Now, speaking of diversity, and I'll get into that. Yeah. Huh? Um, I, I do have a question. It's gonna piss people off. Oh Lord. Oh, we God. talked when about this happen? briefly uh -oh. when it was uh, Spike Lee. She's got to have it remake on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And I said it was too much music, not enough story. Uh, let's get into a little bit of Black <sighs> right, Lightning. Here we go. On I the did CW. Agree with you. Um, that's a good show. A lot of music in the first two episodes. And I, before I get into this, why is the soundtrack so important to black people? Because you know what? Lord the soundtrack, the is, the soundtrack is important to everyone. Lord of the Rings <laughs> in, didn't have so, a thing. Yes, it uh, did. Jay-Z was not on the Lord it's of the Rings soundtrack. It's not about being a pop soundtrack. It's about the soundtrack itself. There were no is, black people in all of Lord I mean, of the Rings. I mean, my God. The soundtrack <laughs> itself tells the story. There wasn't even a black for a, The a soundtrack black itself tells the story. I think it overshadows the acting. I don't think it does. I think it overshadows the acting. There were no black people in Lord of the Rings. If you look at... No, I'll give you a prime example. Game of Thrones. The soundtrack is huge. In Game, there are black people in Game of Thrones. You've got the the Reigns of Castamere. You've got the Stark family theme. You've got the Targaryen theme, Don't and that's how you know movie. what you're watching, and it sets the tone for what it is you watch. If, if you if, when you're you watching an urban blood. show, okay, you have to have a soundtrack but that why? sounds urban. Daryl, what the hell do you listen to then? Can I ask? No, oh, I'm saying God. Garfunkel. And, I'm what saying, is it called? Garfunkel saying, and Uncle Simon, it Simon and Garfunkel. It, Simon and Garfunkel. Is that you, man? It overshadows the story. I don't think it does. It overshadows really? the story. So, so watch, okay. watch, watch, watch uh, uh, Black oh Lightning. God. The first two episodes. So let me ask. Okay, okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay. Comes so from a man who loves when, Marsha Brady. When we're watching. Uh, for example, what was it, The Sopranos? And you hear all of this old Italian music, and you hear all of these Daryl songs. Liked it. That, but it's not Al Green overshadowing the story. Al Green? I, 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 I got how, you. how does Al Green overshadow the story? They're playing everybody. They played oh Lattimore. I loved it. You know but what? it took away from the story. That's I don't all. think that's a thing. Okay. Now, now here's the <laughs> thing. Look here, Uncle Ruckus. Um, he's, he's a filmmaker. On, on, I'm going to need on, to go. Uh, <laughs> on a. a, a, a here. Black Lightning. Now, surprisingly, the third episode didn't have a whole lot of music. Yeah. And because they're switching things up. Um, so you called in? I, it was good to see Clifton Powell an email. Uh, playing a role. Uh, your girl, uh, uh, Jill Scott, is in this one. She's the queen bee. Men, I want to tell you, it's over for us. No men are in power on, on, on television anymore. It's all about women. It's, what's it's, wrong it's, with that? Really? And what's Me wrong with that? Too. I'm just saying. Really? That, that, oh, that's how it is. You want us on top all the no. time, so it's about time we be in power. We got to keep the show. Do you not want your wife on top? We just got to keep the show Do PG. Do you not want your wife on top? The show Me is on. Too. It is PG. Okay. I'm just saying, are you all so, about women empowerment, so, Daryl? I'm just letting this you know. Is, I will tell you <laughs> why. I'll tell you think, what. Girl power is a thing, and I think that it's fair that um, we're seeing more women 
um, come On to the top. forefront. The reason why I say that is when when you look at diversity as a whole, when you look at Hollywood as a whole, there right. haven't been stories told by and for women for a long time. So now that we're seeing it, I think that it's a, it's a welcome shift because I think it clear it better reflects what we're seeing in society. Now I and understand. Let me give you a knowledge I, let, nugget. Let me just let me just sum this up in a, in a knowledge number. Well, let me Carmen, give you this knowledge nugget first. Let me. In let me, fact, let me, American let, let, literature wait, wait, wait did me, not include women or African Americans until the 1970s. So is it so surprising that it's not until now that we're seeing women being properly portrayed in media? I, okay. And the key word is properly. But right. are you going to let, let's just go over here? Okay, Wonder Woman. Let's go. Wonder Woman. Head of girl power uh, uh, with the with, with female DC. director. And smart. With, now, with did the female women, director, with did the women get behind Wonder Woman just because of it being Wonder no, Woman because or because it was, it was awesome good? Movie. It was a, good, it was great, a movie. great movie. Yeah, are, it was well done. Are black people going to do the same thing with Black Panther? Let me tell you something. I already got, got my ticket, ticket, honey. I got what my you ticket. Talking about? Everybody you, but you, and Ruckus. Let me tell you something else. Okay, hey, hey, hey. I have a public announcement. Go ahead, girl. If y'all bootleg Black Panther, I'm telling the police. Ooh. We getting them box well, office numbers. Well start we getting them the box police. office yeah. numbers. We getting them, okay? Uh, you know what I mean to see. Ain't nobody playing with y'all. We don't own that film, but I get what you're saying. And I'm going to talk like this the whole time. I'm going to talk like this. I get it. Honey, I got a dashiki ready to go and a hair wrap. I'm sitting in the back, though, because I'm touching my hair, though. I don't want to block nobody's view. If the Black Panther's good, I got to get the whole costume when I go see the movie. You're going to support it anyway, Daryl, with your brown self. No, I will not. Just going back here. I'm going to, like three times in the first week. Yes. Just get them let, let me go over Dearly, here. Back, you will back support to, the to, movie. To, you are Aborigine. Uh, Black Lightning. Indigenous just person. It has hints to me like it's being produced by Tyler Perry. <laughs> Not that that's a negative thing. <laughs> Carmen. Oh, God. What? I can't. I, I know exactly what, what you're saying. Carmen. <laughs> I know exactly what you're Remember saying. Remember Alex it's Cross? It's so over the top. When, yes, when Tyler I Perry's love Alex trying Cross. to be serious. He was he's a horrible okay. Alex Cross. It's no, he so was horrible. That, that was, please do not put was, Tyler that, Perry that in my Alex horrible. Cross. I'm not hating. I like. I, I like. I not like as Tyler Lightning, Cross. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. I do. I know exactly what you're saying. That is, I love the books. I read all the books. And when they put him in that movie, I was offended it twice. When you offended, it did it at the end. He was offended it. No. Okay. Um, let's get into the deaths, and then I'm going to get. Uh, we can we can get right into our subject. Dum, we're I don't know dum, how, dum, but we're two minutes dum, behind. Dum. I don't know how what? we how tighten that, that up. All right, we are good. We get some Botox <laughs> on it. We could just skip the dead people. Uh, well, we we're, were. No, we, don't we do were. that. Don't do that. We, we're we be were on time. We could skip okay, the dead cool. people. Oh, you know what? I just, I'm sorry. I got one more thing we forgot. Yo. Did y'all hear about Ryan Seacrest? No. What? Ryan Seacrest. Is the latest one I saw on CNN before I came in oh, here being he accused get... of sexual misconduct. He said that's not true, and I believe that. Everybody Ryan says it's not true. So sweet, you know? Scott Bale said he was seduced, and how do you get seduced as a man? There ain't no way you can be Wait, seduced. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've been seduced. Whoa. Remember Scott Bale? He's like, whoa. I was seduced. Please, I've been seduced. Scott Bale wasn't in charge when yes. Charles was. That <laughs> fool. I'm cool. I, I've, been I'm sick of... I've been seduced before. I've I've been seduced. I don't know. I don't know about oh, that. Oh my God. And from a, a, a child. It was a good experience. She was like an 18 year old. Right. And she came over to seduce this big grown man. Well, uh, listen. Remember that? Remember that song? <laughs> he already that had off. his shirt off when he Hold answered on. the door. Remember that Tony, Tony, Tony song, 361.5? I never heard of that. You got you yeah. look that okay, up. Look, look that, up. that up, kids. <laughs> okay, okay. Carmen, Erica. <laughs> what? What is up with the 10 years ago stuff? Say, wait, why? Again, why does it keep, why is it so long because ago? Because no one would listen before. Okay? Here's the thing. Um, when you're, Get him, Carmen. when you're a victim of a, an abusive action or when you're a victim of something traumatic, um, there's a level of intimidation that goes along with someone having the power to victimize you in the and first the place. Up. And it, it becomes a system, especially when you're looking at the patriarchy of Hollywood. Yes. There's a system that has been in place for years that has intimidated women, that has always relegated women to the uh, subservient role of they 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 portray it as the casting couch or what did you do or make you the <clears throat> bad person when you've been attacked or used or abused. Why were you there? Um, right. Exactly. Why did you go in this office? For, Why did for you do example, that? as if to say that, okay, um, Al Pacino and uh, 
Harvey Weinstein could have a million um, meetings in a hotel room and nothing be wrong with that. But as soon as someone like Halle Berry goes to the hotel room, the question is, well, why did you go? What you Do you understand there? what I'm what saying? She happen? is just as much of an actor I, as he is, and she has every all. right. I want to support to, these no, women. No, but I'm, I'm going to be. I'm being honest. Do you, she has every right to have been in the position she was in. You know, and I use Hallie hypothetically, but these women have every right to have been in the places and positions that they were in and they were attacked and victimized. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not going to see uh, someone like um, Kevin Spacey pull his wang out, you know, in, in polite company, but you get a uh, little boy that is trying to be an up and coming actor at 15 years old and he wants to just whip it out on him. For example, I mean, or well, some Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Okay? It's a power play. Look how much he got paid compared to the female actress. And exactly. When you have to look at that, who has more power? So if that if a female says, "Hey, I went in there and the guy he did this this to me," and he has all the money and all the power in a position, see what you don't understand is not just about if you did something, to me, Daryl, and I went downtown and I said something, they're gonna come get you. Right. But if you have the position of power, prestige, and money. It's and gonna, you're, I mean, so there's so, there so many people that are involved in the machine. For example, there's so many people involved in the Weinstein Company machine right. that that enabled this behavior. They're going to cover and, and cover this behavior up to the point where these women felt like they didn't have uh, recourse, or or someone like a uh, well, who is it? Ryan Seacrest. Yeah. Ryan Seacrest is one of the top paid performers in Hollywood at this moment. Ryan Seacrest is worth hundreds of millions in just his short career. You find somebody who's up and coming trying to get that Ryan Seacrest money and, and become a part of that world, they don't have the credibility, they don't have the clout to, to cover what Ryan can. I mean, it's a power thing. Right. And hopefully okay. they'll change the way things are done in Hollywood that you bring your agent, I'll have some women with me. Let's make sure that we Let do a Let me tell you something. Um, I'm going to take my, my bodyguard everywhere <clears throat> I go. Wow. Let's not Man. have one well, on one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is this my, <laughs> His name no. is Mr. Miller? Wow. This That's, is this is. I don't know. I, I mean, has anybody ever I touched don't, you, Daryl? Like absolutely. They, emails, they have touched you. Absolutely. Did you report it? Hold on. What no. Did, what because, did Vanity say in the Last Dragon? You want to guard my body? Wow. <laughs> is that what you said, Daryl? Before they touched you? It's, um, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm being very serious. I mean, no. I, I have been violated when uh, at a younger <laughs> age at uh, With uh, a spatula. Uh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> no. in, all, in all honesty, let's But you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's so if these women have been uh, 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 violated and things like that, I'm all behind it. It's a level of power. You know, I'm all behind it. You know, uh, that was, people mistake the um, the act for the sex, and when you when you're dealing with. But the, if it's a money grab, that's it, a different story. Yeah. <laughs> And you can, there, there's a level of being able to tell when it's something like that, too, because the story falls apart very easily. But most wow. of the women accusing the men are not poor women. <laughs> These are women that are very established in Hollywood. Exactly. Okay. They well, have nothing. I, 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 that, that, and that they're not suing. Something and else. let me say I this would, also. I'd say the most important port of, um, point of this is that these women are not suing. That's what you have to look at. The majority Keep of them are, on, um, are not suing for money. They are bringing light to the to subject. Exactly. So you have to look at that also. Okay. Keep, keep an eye on the Uma Thurman story when it yes. comes to um, Harvey Weinstein and Quentin Tarantino, her relationship with Quentin Tarantino. He actually gave her the tape. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, interesting. We got this a caller the, calling in in Phil's a few Cosby minutes. Thing going on. So I'm just going to move into some good news. I got some good news. Oh, okay. yeah? What's that? I, I got a national holiday today. And that would be what? Uh, no. This it's fake not. News. I know. We know. But I, okay. No. I'm just I'm cool pointing it out. It's interesting. I've seen the <laughs> national holiday list. Listing mm -hmm. on the back of people's like license That's plates. That's not. And, uh, no, you have The back of their. It, oh yeah, it's and billboards. You it have, is becoming have you? very. Oh yeah. No. Oh, okay. Check Darryl. out downtown Toledo. Oh, wow. Maybe it's there. Maybe it's not. It's I don't not. know. Is There's, it in your downtown where you live? No. Well, okay. There's not a thing. But check this out. Mm -mm. Today's national holiday is mm -hmm. wear your size, not what size you hope to be. Day. Oh wow, Daryl. That's it. See, you know Darryl, what? Darryl, you said Rex the wrong person. You know right what? Now, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> man. You know what? No. Somebody gonna punch you. Somebody yeah. gonna punch you dead no. in your oh. eye. Oh. I'm, Somebody I'm just saying, your eyebrow. You're about to get violated. I just want to say, some of you people, <laughs> you, you people, people. You're, you're, <laughs> you fat, people. you're fat tight. Here we you're go. You're husky. You're big boned. Uh-uh. You need to wear a double X. 
I'm not even. You're wearing an X right and you now. need to wear a double X. It's right. You can't just put an extra. You know, small everyone one can't help they have back yeah, titties, yeah, okay? I'm and you guys need to leave people with back I'm titties not alone, okay? I'm deal with that. I don't Well, I'm, I'm just. I'm sorry. I what? Some people I feel didn't make confident. it up. No, I don't know what you're talking about. What is wrong with a woman that feels confident in what she has on? You if you don't like it, hold tight. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, player. Look. Hold on, player. You can feel confident. Hold the hell on. I might have to agree with your boy on this one. Because I don't think. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me. Let me tell you something. And I'm I love right I love my big girls. Okay. I am team chunk to the end. Okay. But feel me on this, it. honeys. Um, just because they make it in your size. But if they added some material. Don't mean you're supposed to put it on what outside. If they added some now there's some things that only you, the person you love, and Jesus is supposed to know about you. So I suggest you keep those things. In the house. Wow. <laughs> so, 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 am I getting an agreement here? I, I no, no. You get a. You get ladies, a. You don't get an amen, ladies, but you get a. I'm it, gonna tell you what you do get. You get a. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Ladies, you get some duct tape. No amen, you get but some you duct tape. Mm -hmm. You pull them yeah. things up. You pull them back to these up. You yeah, join them. Know. Wow. You tie it no, and no, you no. wear what you want to wear. We, we got a caller no, on. No. So uh, let's briefly get into the introduction <laughs> of our topic. All right. All right, I'm good. Okay. Because we're going to get into it. I'm just it. tripping because I'm like, really? Y'all use duct tape? No. Oh, wow. Yes, they do. There's double sided tape. But for wow. poor people, it's duct tape. Oh, good Lord. That look hurt coming off, though. It does. <laughs> Man. Hey, sometimes you got to use us in the house. Baby. <laughs> no, but you know what? You know what I do love? I love those girdles, like when you hug people, it feel like you're hugging the police. Oh, yeah, you be, they be tight <laughs> and smooth. You be like, whoop. Wow. Be feeling like you got a bulletproof vest on in the club. Oh, <laughs> so y'all ready to get into the subject? All right, yeah, let's, let's do let's that. Get, let's get into it. Uh, today's subject is 12 years a girlfriend, but not a wife. Years a slave. Did you get that from that? I, 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 I think years a slave. That's a long time. That's long, a long, long time. time. Long time. That's Did you really get that title from 12 Years a Slave? Can I ask that? I, no. I, I think that that was a reference. It's 12 Years of a Slave? 12 Years a Slave? It's wow. kind of the same slave? thing. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, that, I, that, I, that, that's, I, 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 I agree with it's you on a, that. It's a level of captivity. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now so. Paul, are you there? Yes. Uh, if you could just hold on just for one second, I'm just going to give a brief introduction, and then I'll get you on, and we can get into this. Is that cool? Of course. Great. Now, uh, just to report a few things, it is reported from LifeScience.com, nearly half heterosexual women, 48%, mm -hmm. said that they were not married to their spouse when they first lived together. Whew. Now, 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 is, wow. this method, is this method successful? Hmm. What's the divorce rate? It's over 50%, so it's kind of like a... So, so let me ask this, Daryl, what are we saying? Are we saying that... Um that you should not live with someone or what do you, what what is that the here's the thing carmen you have said something about you, you may not, not remember but you said something about you were asking the question am i judgmental mm -hmm. just as in general not to me personally i, I, I think. think that you are and you are i oh, mean that's oh, okay. rhetorical you're a tad judgmental. And yes <laughs> because of the way that our society has changed mm -hmm. There are things that we're not, we don't even point a finger at anymore. It's okay. just commonplace. Okay. So the thing that I'm, I guess. So, so, so we all can express how we feel. If yeah. we're pro or con. Right. I feel like, I feel, I feel like this, you know, um, and I'm, I'm more traditional myself when it comes to, to relationships as well. Um, but there, there has to be a level of compatibility. There has to be some, some sort of period of time where you're getting to know someone whether it is that you'll be a good companion or a good spouse right. in the first place. And the thing that I would say is as uh, if you're not married, um, I wouldn't be doing married <clears throat> things like commingling your, your funds exactly. or, exactly. or doing things. Did you just say, girl, <laughs> see, I mean, you know what? These women, <laughs> there, there's, there's some women that want. I didn't even go in there yet. <laughs> um, I just let them know. You got to hold some back. Say that for your husband. I, I don't know. Girl, you know, <laughs> I, went, I wouldn't go in there. Now, Daryl, let but me ask you. But when you're trying you to get half of the shacking, cable bill paid. But let me ask you. Yeah, I, everybody I mean, that's, everybody that's a girlfriend <laughs> is not living with a guy. So you guys are making some wide assumptions. I'm sure True. all those people, some people are living separately, boyfriend mm -hmm. and girlfriend. 
I. But when I say, what's the same? When I we say, know what living together is. You don't don't, you, don't for housewife. you know what? For not only arts. that, the mm-hmm. old saying was, "Don't buy the cow if you're getting that milk for free." Right, right. You know, right. some. I, I think this generation of women, with our freedom sexually, I think that I'm gonna live in my house. You live in yours. Right, but at the same time, some some of that freedom has um, diminished the the desire for a companion for a now, now why companion. do i why do i agree with you because some actually live in separate rooms i i oh, i'm gonna be i'm not asking for a confession for, for, i'm not asking for a confession on anybody no i'm saying i'm saying i mean does that work i'll give you my what happened with me i did not i did not live with my wife of almost 24 years we did not live together um I dated someone prior to her for way too long. I, you know, excuse my my, my wording, but I used her up. Mm. We did not live together either. But I, I wanted something like new. No, but I, I wanted something I will, new. I'll, I'll, I wanted something new. I will, yeah, ca- I will counter so that. Bored. No, 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 I'll counter that with. I've been married for twenty three years, mm-hmm. and we did live together prior. Of course, we had two babies, but that's not the point. Um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We was young, but right. we, we built our we built our family and we built our routines as a family. You know what I mean? But dating in terms of the world. Yeah, of how just long were you guys dating before? Six years before we got married. And okay. I'm gonna tell you something else, and I'm gonna get right to the caller. If I if I was a woman, you got two years, and that's it. We done. I'm not gonna be messing around with you for no three, four, five years. I can agree with that. If you're, I'm if not, you don't have right. something invested, I'll, for example, children. Men are have... lazy. They will use you, and they will marry somebody else in six months, and you'll be sitting back this wondering what happened. Put us some. No, but it, I, we've got a caller that we yeah, want to get into yeah, this conversation know. because Girl, I know that she has is, a this lot. Conversation of, go, I know like, she has a lot of content to add, to add. Um, caller, are you there? Yes. Uh, can you tell everyone who it is? Because I know who it is. Hey, Key. <laughs> How you doing? Kiki. Yes. Oh, Hi, Kiki. Kiki. Tell everybody up, about who you are, um, what you do, to give them a brief overview for people who might just now be getting to know us. Well, I am a blogger on YouTube, and I also preach, and I also do voiceovers. All right. And right okay. now, I'm building a state of my great 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 uncle Jack Johnson, the All right. black heavyweight. Boxing champ of the world. So that's, that's full that's black history. Yes, girl. Oh, wow. Yes. All right. Yeah. So we're talking about 12 years of girlfriend, but not a wife. Okay. So tell us your thoughts on, you know, let's say shacking, long-term dating, that kind of thing. What, what makes a, a wife material? What makes girlfriend material? Um, I think wife material would be a woman that a man, he sees her value. He sees her worth. And he feels that this is someone he can see himself with for the rest of his life. Um, I believe that some men, or probably most men, when they get with a woman, they immediately know if that woman is wife material or if they're going to keep her in the category of a girlfriend. Hmm. And if he sees that woman as a girlfriend, he will be okay and comfortable with doing the least. Okay. He would be okay with doing the least with that woman. Very now, good the point. woman that's his that wife. Is a good point. Now you said in, they immediately know. What kind of signs are there if a guy immediately knows if he's going to be with you long term or if he's going to just keep you in the girlfriend zone? Really? How that, um, the way that I think how the woman carries herself. I think immediately a man looks at how that woman carries herself. Mm-hmm. He's looking at her attitude. He's uh, looking at how she carries herself. And I think a man also looks at how that woman treats him. Hmm. And, and also, and that is some how men determines if this if this woman. Oh, I could see myself with her for the rest of my and, life. And, and like how she attitude. raises like children? Would she be herself. a good mother? It's, no, it's this certain is qualities. some bullshit. This is giving men too much power. How about I'm looking at your ass? 
No, no, <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Kiki, <laughs> Kiki, you better tell him the real girl. I know this ain't how you rolling. How does she know that she want to waste her time? I'm not trying to cook your dinner uh -oh. and do all this stuff to prove that I'm no wife. You better be proving something to me. That's the problem. We giving men too much power. And y'all living at home, lying, y'all already got a girlfriend. You got your staying hey. at home at your mama basement. You already uh, got a wife and all this stuff. How about I need to check you out? That's what I'm talking about. You looking? You're not looking for a wife. You looking for someone to take care of you like your mama. In certain situations, I had to no. fight. I'm not, look, don't look for me to be your wife. Look for me to be your partner. I'm not, I'm looking to be your equal partner, not just your wife. Oh. I can make my own money. I can do all this. So I'm looking for a partner. So, right. so what is it that we're, what, what's the, what are we saying are uh, wifely qualities as opposed to girlfriend qualities? Because you have a lot of women who are independent, who are making their own money, who are doing the things for themselves, who have things going for them, who cannot find mates that will you also commit. But you also, um, how can I say this? You have different women that, you know, you can actually see as far as women that's just out here that just want to just get money from, from, uh, you know, from dudes, mm -hmm. you know, grown men, you know, what, what happened to a gentleman that would always open a door for a woman? Right. You know, what happened to those wonder woman? Chivalry. You think people opening Wonder Woman's door? Let hey. me tell you something. Yes, some people are Our opening Wonder Woman's door because guess what? Wonder Woman gonna stand there till the door get open. Till and that's cool. <laughs> but I'm gonna open your door sometime too, Daryl, because I believe in equal I rights. I believe you. You got them big I, hands. I, I, <laughs> till, till I don't know day. about that. I don't know I, about that. I believe in like me. I'll open the door for my boots, even though he won't let me. But I mean, <laughs> I believe like we treat each other equally. I, I believe right. in that. But like, go ahead, Keith. I'm you going. Said, I'm going nine months strong and. I still open the door for my fiance, and that's right. that makes I, sense. I, 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 that's cool. And don't I ever, open the don't door. ever stop doing that. Don't ever stop doing that. You're talking to some twenty-year. Oh, okay. We, we lifers over here. We are lifers over here. Cute. You have got to train <laughs> a dog. Women have got to train a dog. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you you have got to train a dog. Women, you have got to train a dog, or he will step all over you. Men are dogs. A lot of men are dogs. You have got to train a dog. I give men more credit than that. I do too. I give men more credit because I. But you say. But, but they, I'm gonna ask Kiki. They got flaws. Kiki. I think that everyone will do exactly Kiki, what you should, allow them to do. Should to couples you. live together before marriage? What are your thoughts on that? Um, personally, I, I I I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't agree because, you know, when you get comfortable and you live with somebody before you're married to them, I just think it puts people in a place of the relationship not being um, a challenge. Right. Sometimes a challenge is good. That's right. And I think that's why men put different women in either a wife category or a girlfriend category. The girlfriend category that they keep a woman in is because she's not really a challenge. Mm. I noticed that sometimes men will put a ring on a woman's finger that has been a challenge to him, along with her carrying herself well, her attitude, all of that. So many things play a role in that. But if a woman is not really a challenge and it was easy for him to lay with her, if it was easy for him to move her in or he got certain benefits without her challenging him. And, and you, you know, it, it, it's too it's too commonplace. It's too easy. Right. So, it's too easy. Right. So, no, I wouldn't recommend it because when you're living with that person, you have got accustomed to them. You're used yeah, to them being there. Sense. You're comfortable. Oh, you you know, and yeah, after you've done that for so long, it's kind of like, I, oh, I, I okay, well, you gotta, I don't really have to go all the way now. The thing about that, too, I, I will say I agree that. to a certain yeah, extent don't. because here's the thing. Some men, some men like a woman who will challenge them. Mm -hmm. And then you have some men who have that control streak that want a docile woman. And I think that it, it varies because of the kind of person that you are, what kind of partner you require. You mm -hmm. know, because there are some women who who are very, what they would consider traditionally wifely, who end up, you know, alone. And right. then there are right. some women, Absolutely. then there are some women who are not so in that, who are challenging, who end up alone. And because you have people who, are, who run the gamut as far as what it is that they desire, and you have to find someone who fits your, kind of, your special kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. you I, know? Agree I, I, I agree with that. That's true. I agree with that. I agree with that. Now, um, I, I don't know. I, I just feel that I, I'm going to use my daughter as an example. <clears throat> and if um, my daughter, I'm raising her up to be a certain type of way, and she ends up dating some guy, and if she thinks that she's going to date some dude 
or live with some dude for two, three years and coming over to my house for Thanksgiving dinner. Why not? It's not going to happen. Why not? I'm not going to be feeding Why? this dude that's shacking up with my daughter. Is he paying her bills? Do they have a place to stay? It, are, they, are, they gainfully, a are they gainfully employed and your daughter is, no. is they fed, can, healthy, they can sit at and taken care of in each their other? one-bedroom apartment with honey-baked ham. You know what? I'm not going to furnish that. That's You know, why not? <laughs> yeah, not I, think you're being, I think you're being unrealistic. No, now too. my son, and, he can do whatever he wants to do. You if know he brings his girlfriend See, over, a double standard. That's I'm cool. not. I'm not fooling with you. Let's keep the show clean, Daryl. I'm not fooling with you. What you told me. I'm you not fooling with you. So clean right I, now. I see, that's a double problem. standard. Trying to make people upset. You, that's no, a double standard, but, yeah, and but, you're full of it. Because yes, guess are. what? That same daughter may have picked the perfect partner, and that son may be sitting up on a deadbeat chick. Okay? Um, so don't do uh, that. But a man will use men. You, you, you don't think women men do. use men? You don't think women use men? Thank you. Isn't you that what Keith just said? You don't think women use men. Keith just said they do. Just 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 like. Just like there are men who are out here laying up and using a woman for all of her youth and beauty, there are women who are getting as much of a check as they can out of these jokers. But what about when a baby comes along? That's called, th then they have a check for good. Okay. So wow. Kiki, I got one more question for you. <laughs> okay. So, so um, do you think that a man will gain respect, like, oh, let's go on what Daryl said, or lose respect for a woman, or let's steal from the guy for the longer they live together because... I don't know why these um, this segment is so male chauvinistic. Well, because Daryl wrote the dominated. questions. Daryl wrote the questions. I did not. Y'all oversee them. Daryl yes, wrote the he, questions. He, he, he. And, I, and I just don't think, I think the society is changing, whether you like it or not, Daryl. And um, there are women moving into men's houses, not just women moving into men's houses. Right. So there, there's if a change If I'm a man here. moving into a woman's house, well. You said what now? Say it, say it again. Say it loud. If I'm a man moving in, no, babe, you move into my house. What if you ain't got what no house? What if you ain't got well, no why house? Is that? Why you, why you, with, why you with me? You supposed to date up, not down or how, equal. How, but, but see, that's the point. That that's where we are most in society. Men, okay? Most men that women. But what if he just men. got a divorce? But it is. But I ain't gonna say that. But I'll take that back because there's some women out here that got themselves together. Thank you. And if she got it yes, all set yes. up, and I'm in an well, apartment. Well, here's here's and that's the that's the difference right. in what's going on right now because you can't deal with like the old school hierarchy of you know the man this and the man that because there are women who are out here who are executives. There are women out here who are handling business and men who are living in a mama basement. You right. Know? So Kiki, yeah. what do you think? Would you gain or lose respect the longer you live with someone? I think I will probably lose respect. I think I will probably lose respect because That's my girl. I I, I just feel like once again, if you are comfortable enough to move somebody in mm -hmm. and you're doing everything like you're married mm -hmm. right. I'm not but allowed you to say never go to actually get married wh what's your reason why am i here right. what's the what's the end game why are we breaking bread together why are we making business transactions with right. finances what's the end why are game? we having sex we're doing everything that married people do but i'm not worth you just going all the way which i'm okay for you to live with me for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, mm. like I would lose respect, definitely. And that's why and I, I think now, 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 we got we to gotta move to the, to the next caller. But Carmen, you had a point. No, I, I, I agree to, to, to that because there's, there is an expiration date on what people do together when it comes to um, relationships and their trajectory. And I call that two years. And right. it may very well be two or or well, or... and once you start getting your money muddled together and your finance and that, it is very hard then to start separating things. And my and my thing is, when we start talking about resources mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and um like houses and things like that, exactly, you need to make sure you have the same last name on some things. So we because can take it's care a protection aspect, yeah. right? yeah. you're protecting yourself in terms of. Otherwise, why we plan? We can just. Be friends. Right. right. Now, now I'm going to uh, uh, say my parting uh, on for uh, Kiki. Kiki, first off, I couldn't do an intro um, as excited as I am to talk with you. Uh, thank you so much for, for calling the show and, and uh, being a friend of the show. Girl. Kiki is a friend yes, of the show. Yes, she is. We want to thank Always you for your support. You. Okay. Hey, Kiki. Yeah. Her Instagram <laughs> is popping. Her I Instagram love you guys. Is awesome. I've been checking you out. We love you, too. I've been yes. checking you out. Look like your future is bright. So we're very happy for you. Okay. Yeah. Tell yeah, people where they can reach you. Um, they can reach me at Miss Kiki Transformed on Instagram, 
and Misty Tolbert, V O H, on YouTube. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, guys. And don't be living with nobody, girl. Don't be living with nobody. See, that's wow. the pet. Don't you <laughs> no, talk, say, don't you talk to the woman of God like that. Somebody. She ain't going to do that. She ain't going to do that. <laughs> Y'all know better. I know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, now we got another caller on there. Caller, you there? Yes, sir. This is Taiwan Card, correct? Hi, Ty. Correct. Wait, is hey, it Taiwan is one word or is it tied in Juan? Yes. Just two words. You oh, got two it. Two words. Okay. Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan. Now, now uh, Taiwan is a pastor. He lives in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, we got a lot okay. of love. Uh, but, but, we got but, the church on today. All well, right, you know church. what, though? You know what you wanted in house? You wanted Detroit in the house. Get right, he was, church. He was rooted in Detroit. Yes. Me, Me too. Me too. Am I, am I correct? <laughs> am I correct? We got, a, correct. we got a homeboy. You're correct. Yeah. All right. It's my second home, actually. So tell us about it yourself. Is. What you been doing, bro? Well, um, for the past four years, I started a church, and we've been doing uh, some great work around the Nashville City metro area. Nice. Um, you know, uh, you know, got a brand-new daughter. She's seven months. Um, just been being a father, working, and taking care of this church, man. It's just been an awesome experience uh, throughout these last couple of years. So That's awesome. I've been excited about what God has been doing for me. So Amen. Uh, I can't really complain. Nice. I'm just, you know, doing what's necessary, just trying to build different programs. Um, to help the youth, college students, as well as elders, um, to help move and streamline us, bridging that gap in between the uh, millennials and the older folk. You know how it is. Absolutely, wow. absolutely. Now, now, Ty, uh, not to get too personal, but uh, mm-hmm. I have a lot of respect for you, of course, number one. Okay. Number two, you helped me out in a, in a time when I needed help, and I didn't expect it to be you. So I always remember that, and so I'm uh, honored to have you on this show, okay? God bless you. Um, now, coming from a religious perspective, but I'm also crazy about you because you're down to earth, okay? Uh-huh. Now, we have some questions for you, and I, I'm really looking forward to the answers that you have. Uh, as you right. know, today's show, today's topic is 12 years a girlfriend, but not a wife. Um, wow. Based on this, what's your opinion? You know, should couples live together before marriage? Um, I do believe that it's something that should be done. And the reason why is because in this oh, day really? and age, okay. you don't know who you, you know, who you're marrying. Um, there's so many different people. Um, they change once you uh, get together in the, oh, in the yeah, household. Um, and, they, and it's like, you don't know who you're marrying. If you do, if you are, see so y'all happier when you are divided, you have mm. your own space. Let and me, so let because me. you have your own space. Go ahead. <clears throat> that's interesting from a religious perspective, because that's not something that you normally hear. So, uh-huh. Where? But why not? The parents are encouraging it, and the parents are going to church. The, let, the, let, the, let, 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 let the pastor tell us. Well, the reason, where okay, for so my reasoning, okay, so my mm-hmm. reasoning behind this, and I, I, I'm looking at it, and I, like I say, I've been, uh, I'm very realistic. I don't okay. play around with it. So when I do my marriage counseling, I understand that some people are already together in the household. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not separated. And so once you once you're looking at it, some people are more comfortable and they can love you better when they got a little bit of space. Okay. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you do something that offsets what they normally do in their own home, um, it throws them off and it becomes something irritating. And you won't marry somebody that's constantly irritating you in the same space. Y'all will be quicker to break up or do something like that um, if uh, if you're not if you're not doing um, if you're not on one accord with each other. On to the you know what I mean? It, so yours you way. Are, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, so, no. See, and this is just what I. This is what I. The, the reason why I said is because you know it's one thing to get into an argument, then you go to your house and I go to mine. It's nothing to get into an argument and you got to stay in the same place. See, so if you're not married, you're quick to leave. But see, so, if you're in a so relationship, so what kind of a period right? of time are you thinking that people should give so, it to where they so should normally, live together you first? Know, okay, so um, so I I I was in well. Well, I guess my, my situation would be different. So I got engaged to my wife in 2006. I didn't marry her until 2009. But we was, you know, so we were living together for two years. So I see what you're saying, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And then we went on and got married. But when you're with somebody and you got comfortable with just being with them and not marrying them and committing yourself to them, I think it's like it plays a part where, uh, y- y'all both don't want the same thing. Y'all, you know, one wants it and the other one's not even thinking nothing about it. And so it's it's one of those kind of things where I feel like it's best if you're going to do it, 
then it has to be, like you said, it has to be a meeting point where, okay, we're going to, you're going to put your name on it mm-hmm. or you're not. You let, know let, me go so, let, me, but, let me go here. Let me get real personal. Okay. Would, would, would you be cool with your daughter living with a guy before marriage? I have no problem with it. Do you think that? I'm throwing my pen down. Do you think what? that some people are live you a youth, youth pastor? Then <laughs> I think he's no, just a youth no, pastor. No, no, I'm not. No, the reason let's 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 keep it real. Okay. Because even if she, even if even if she's not, watch this now. Even if she's spending the night every single night over this person's house, right. and she has her own, what's the difference? I'm, she's just paying rent at this other location. Vice Do versa, you, they spend six months over at one house and six months at the other house. It's still, you know, you still have that going on. I have no, you can't no longer put it in the box of being traditional. Uh, see, non-traditional, you, it, see, that's, the, that's think, the concept. Let me ask you this. Do you, do you think mm-hmm. that it diminishes the specialness of a relationship when it comes to, because you were saying that, you know, people are more comfortable when they can argue and then go to their own space. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and it's easier to love somebody when you have the option to walk away. Do you think Mm -hmm. that it becomes less special, you know, in terms of the more time that you spend um, in a relationship that looks like marriage as opposed to being an actual marriage? Because you're you're playing the part, but you're not investing anything. Okay. What do you think? Uh, That's that's. Well, I think um, it doesn't diminish it. Uh, it depends on where, 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 the, where both parties stand. A lot of us are speaking from people that either either you want to get married or you don't. And so when you go into this thing with the, maybe if the expectation is to get married, then, the, then both parties are on the same accord. I don't think um, it might not financially, if they're together, they're trying to bring their numbers together to, to do that. Fine. Some people just go to the courthouse. You know, when we're talking about marriage, you're just talking about putting our last name on it. Well, before if that's the case, if we knew we was going to get married in the beginning, then, you know, we'll go at it like that. So if we're staying together for this long, because a lot of people, you know, we still got people right now, what they call, what is that called? Uh, after you marry, uh, for, common after law. you've been together for so long, common law, common law. you know, they, they, yeah, they, they say you're married at this point, you know what I mean? And some people are still live in that mindset, you know what I mean? So, uh, but when you're talking about, it, um, well, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, in terms of, these long-term arrangements that people have, uh, let's say that uncle and that auntie, okay, mm-hmm. that always come to, to uh, Thanksgiving or whatever. But never married. But never mm-hmm. married. Your, your mm-hmm. uncle Otis got a different last name than all his kids, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, you know, <laughs> they've been together 20 some odd years and he's never mm-hmm. bothered to make her his wife. What's the investment there? What is the, what, what's to be gained? Oh yeah. See now, now we're looking at the now. Now we're looking at the financial. We're looking at the, what 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 do we share together outside of these bills that you pay right, half on, right, right, right. Pay half on. What do we have together? So that that's the that's the, now that right there is uh is the part where you have you have to deal well and okay. Uh, both parties, excuse me, I'm sorry. Both parties. Both parties played a major part in that. Because just mm-hmm. like he stayed 20 years, you stayed 20 years. If you never pressed the issue on him and he never pressed the issue on you, y'all just like to be together just because y'all like to be together. Y'all right. Don't, y'all not looking to get married. And some people have gone to a place in life where they're not looking to get married based off of everybody yeah. going from the... Yeah, because they're getting uh, the, uh, their husband's the, uh, right, pension. They're living together. You know? You know what I mean? Right. Now, now so I'm going to I'm 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 go here just for a second. I'm going to tell you about me, Taiwan. Mm-hmm. I am a paper guy. Meaning that I look good on paper. I got the credit mm-hmm. score. I got the White House with the picket fence. I got the two kids. His kid, his house is white. I have well, not okay. seen a fence. But 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 I'm saying I'm saying everything <laughs> looks good on paper. But don't read the fine print. I'm not perfect. Okay. Now uh-huh. I'm not saying okay. Well, we can date. We're not living together. But I might have a drawer over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I'm not okay. living there. I'm looking at here from from the women's perspective when I have played the cleanup, the friend zone dude, when they have been with mm-hmm. this dude for three years and he drops them and marries. He, he want he, you thinking he don't want to get married. Daryl no, he didn't want to marry you. Daryl telling his own business. <laughs> and he gets married to somebody else six months later. And you say, I did everything he wanted. Now you got to move in uh-huh. with another dude and do the same old mm-hmm. stuff with this next dude. But okay. maybe where is okay. the it where, becomes a cycle. You know, I, I feel right. like that, okay. those people okay. weren't right for each other to begin with and had no business being together to begin with. You can, I don't you, think you need okay. to live with someone to so, decide whether or not you love them or you can marry them. 
True. I, I think, you know, a lot of people, you know, play this game, you know what I mean, just to see how to feel to have somebody with them day in and day night. You know, that, you know, you can, you have what we call, I'm sorry, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all being real frank with me. It's in-house. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So Tell I can, truth, you know, if, you're, if I can speak, you know what I'm saying? It's in-house. Right. Don't it's, say it because Daryl will get okay? mad. <laughs> it, you know what I mean? So now you got comfortable with the with in-house and then, you get tired and you don't want to marry the in-house, so you decide to go out the house and get rid of the in-house and start all over again. But you promised Ooh. the in-house that you were going to be there forever, but you was only there while she was in the house. So mm-hmm. right. it's a it's it's a it's it's one of them one of them concepts where you got to know what you're getting into. Right. What, See, what is the and then that in-house gonna on. come find your car and go scratch See, your car and find your new house. Right now, mm-hmm. right now you now you now you're going now you now we're walking up the street of San. Okay, now what promises was made right. now before you, this decision of leaving? Up the street of gone uh, crazy. crazy. The other thing yeah. that, you know, that so. I as I say that expectation too is is key because you got people who have sold pe- other folks a dream about you know this that and third, you, and then you. turn around and and I wasn't Darryl what it lucky. is that you want. Lucky. See, Daryl is funny, but he done told way too much of his yeah, business, see, and I love Karen. I know, you know, you know, man, I know, and I, I know love because, Karen you know, because she's a good street, woman. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, yeah I'm, we, I'm, we've been down the street, you know what I'm saying? You've been down that dog. road before. The, 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 the only it. way, Carmen, we said, the, the only way that we're going to get better is tell the truth. Yeah. And that's what we do on this show. And that's real. That's real. I'm going to tell the truth you a dog. See, the thing about that, too, is, you know, when you're, when, when you're invested... I, I won't say a lot of people are looking we're, we've been talking about the, the monetary piece and we've been talking about mm-hmm. commingling mm-hmm. funds and living together but when mm-hmm. you're investing in someone emotionally yep. okay right. you spent these years with this person me. and you get to mm-hmm. know them you Great know ball. their idiosyncrasies a lot of times yeah. folks 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 don't understand that a good marriage is not about what you like, but it's about what you can live with. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Talk to me now. when you now sit you're, up now here, now you're walking on the street now. Okay, when you sit up here and you've got emotionally, walk on that street. when you've got emotionally invested, and then you have someone who does not have the wherewithal or the respect for you or themselves mm-hmm. to say, mm-hmm. "A, this is not what I want anymore," right. or "B, right. you know." Um, Let's make this official. Then what do you okay. do? You know what I mean? Where, where, where does that leave someone? All I'm going to say is if I'm a woman, you're going to pay for me. That's all I'm going to say. You know what? You're going to pay. That's okay. not even a deal. Okay. Daryl, you're not a woman. <laughs> you're going to pay for so me. So we don't really care about that, Daryl. I'm just saying. No. And I'm a okay, guy. So... And I'm charged some women. Mm-mm-mm. No, you know, you know what you need to do. You know what, Pastor. I mean, to be honest, I'm not messing with him. You're you gonna buy me a sweater. Ty, no, Ty, you have don't to do this do. with. Do not. Don't yeah. do this with him. Yeah. There don't has you to be, like don't you Carpenter do. was saying, don't go sign with him. a relationship check. Yeah. Like you can't just go you in and say, "What you way, man?" Pay okay, you you're gonna move in with someone and be okay with that. I mean, if we're gonna move in with someone, am I moving in with with an engagement ring? Are we moving in with a date set to get married? I'm just not moving in with you because we're gonna test the waters. No, we're. We're moving in because we've decided that we're taking this to the next level. We're moving in as an engaged couple that we have a mm-hmm. wedding date set and we're going to move forward. And I'm cool we're, with we're that. And it's a moving. different. Okay. Right. But see, but see, that's a okay. difference when you're doing that and you already have a understanding. You right. have a standard. Right. See, everybody's not going into this mm-hmm. kind of conversation with a standard. They're going in there with expectation of it reaching that standard. And, and see, that's, that's, when that's, 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 yeah. that's the thing. You got, okay, so we're at a different place in life. But you got young mm-hmm. people, let's say fresh out of college, you dated all through college and all of a sudden this is real life. And and it, mm-hmm. and you go from being boyfriend, girlfriend to being these graduated kind of roommates. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And you have not laid out your expectations because, hell, you don't know what you want out of life. Right, you know? right, right. You got a bunch of hope. Right. And right. then that's where yeah. that's where the that's where the, it gets very muddy or cloudy in terms of of the mm-hmm. end game, you know. Okay, so would it be fair to say that it depends on what they were brought up in? Yeah. yeah. See, because yeah. Cause now, cause now you're looking at what it, what does their uh what their where where does their parent parents stay or grandparent or however they they look at their future uh, from what they were brought up in. Mm. And so if if one of them has the mindset, well, I want to get married, then that person more so will push the issue because like my grandfather, my grandfather was one of the main reasons why I got married. He said, hey, you know, so you lay down with that girl. You got her, right. you know, you got her pregnant, you know what I mean? You need to stay with her. Now, in my mind, you know, I'm like, why? You know what I'm saying? This is when I was young. I'm like, why? You know, hey, I'm still young. We ain't mm-hmm. say we're going to be together forever. 
But then you start listening to old songs talking about how cheaper it is to keep her. See, you know absolutely. what I mean? And then you, 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 now, you know what I mean? You start looking. <laughs> you know, you start looking over the longevity piece, and I start looking around at my my friends who have uh, multiple baby mothers and have so many different issues. Exactly. Or, um, they have, you know, they have different circumstances that they can't do this with the, their children. And, They're not seeing their and children. Here's the, and there's so many different things. Go ahead. Mm. Here's here's where where the rubber meets the road. Okay, it's not just about what you've been brought up in. It's also about what you the legacy you want to leave. Right. Because mm -hmm. when you do mm -hmm. bring kids into the mix, I mean, not only are are you looking at you know how your parents came up but now you're looking at what kind of parent or what kind right. of, of role model yeah, you yeah. want to be yeah. you know uh, it's very some, it's let's all have some matching last it's names it's all fun and games until you fun. got to change them right. diapers you right. know yeah. what i mean oh yeah it's a big reality yeah, yeah. Check. it's all right. fun and games it, it is, then it you'll is, see with your is. relationship and i'm gonna tell you this bro because we're going to let you go okay. uh pastor taiwan card i'm gonna say this um when you get older, all that living together and then you get married and everything's blissful. And, and, and I'll say one thing, adult, the sex, all that is fantastic. But as you get older, your tastes change. It's all about food. Yeah. See, it's what? all about See, food. You know what? It's all I'm, about how oh food tastes. You know, you know it what? is. You know what? what? You don't. I can, I can agree. Well, you know, you know, I'm just saying. I can agree with you. I can agree with you. I'll tell you, 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 you the truth, man. I'll tell you this, man. You're not lying, man. That and a great conversation about what we use. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? need the ladder. Man, ain't no time what I do for some macaroni and cheese. For us, it's the exact opposite. For women, it's the opposite. For women, it's the opposite. You waiting in the bed with that with that good smelling lotion. Okay. I used to think I used to think that it was good to, to see a woman with a big booty, but now I want that good conversation. Well, you know what? I'm I want glad that good conversation. Husband, thank uh, I'm you James. Be able to talk to me. I'd like to give right. a shout out. James White, thank you for loving me still with a big booty, and I'm glad you just ain't about no food. Thank God. You know what? Hey, oh, my gosh. Hey, you got to you gotta know. Listen, man, you got to know. You got to know what you know, like. James you got to know what like. Thank, thank you, baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, 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 tell people tell how people, they can yeah. get in touch with you. Um, well, um, I, uh, I'm actually just on Facebook. I don't really have Instagram. What I do is like New Life of Nashville. Um, you can look me up on New Life of Nashville on Instagram. I'm on Facebook, Taiwan Card. Um, you can find me there. Um, and also, I do a dinner and serve message every single night, Monday through Friday. Uh, at seven o'clock, so y'all definitely can check me out doing that, man. I, I'm excited. Thank you so much for this great opportunity. Thank you uh, to share with you all, man. It was so yeah. awesome. Yeah, to be honest with you, it was my first time. Yeah. Doing, well, yeah, do a pod, you know. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do it for twelve y years. You want to do this for twelve, <laughs> uh, this for 12 well, years? I tell you what. You know what? Thank let me you tell you so something, much. man. It's a commitment. It's, that's a commitment I'm willing to take with you all. Oh, all right. Right. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, you were yeah. great. Thank I want to thank you. And as they say in the streets, thanks for keeping it real. He does not know the streets that's i don't hey, know what street you know that what is on. hey one thing about him he know i know something and it's close to it ah. you know what I, mean? so, yeah, I, don't I don't know play, what that don't meant. Play around. What wow that? thanks right. we'll talk right. to you later you okay thank please you. do okay thank you great deal all right thank you See, I, I i do want to carry this conversation on and i want to hear from our in-studio guests in terms of your your, your uh, thoughts on what it is that we're discussing yeah my thoughts oh man i can go on and on about this i've been through it i've seen it done it um this most recent relationship i've been in actually is a lot better um it's more it's a lot healthier um like we were just talking about it's it's uh, it's all about conversation now it's not about oh she got big boobs or big booty or nothing like that it's just i mean i just i enjoy her conversations i enjoy her company and you know while we are actually getting married, you know, we don't June live. We don't, yeah, June 30th. All right, congratulations. June 30th, I get married. Um, uh, if you're looking for a wedding band. <laughs> <laughs> shameless. Um, shameless. Shameless we, plug. We actually. The we, Overton Project you know, is available for weddings. We're, we're, we're doing we're doing a traditional way. I mean, we're not actually living together. Mm -hmm. um, she does come by, you know, to my apartment. Um, I may come by her house, you know, and. You know, we just, you know, do what we do. But at the same time, you know, we always want our own space, mm -hmm. you know, our space to just, you know, just take a time out. You do know, you do you think that that will change once the marriage happens in terms of how you relate to one another? I think it will. I think it will change, you know, because of the fact that now we're in the house. So mm -hmm. it's not like I can just well, of course, I can go in a different room and just mm -hmm. chill out. But 
you know, she is my companion. She's my best friend. So therefore I have to actually come to her like, look, I need to talk to you about something. Mm -hmm. This is something that's bothering me because I feel that if you're, if you're talking about the situation rather than just having a closed mouth, it's not going to be resolved. I, I have to uh, kind of interject here. Sierra was online a couple of uh, weeks ago and she shared a uh, sermon mm -hmm. uh, and it was very controversial and she got some uh, flack about um, how she uh, spoke about marriage. It was, it was a, a, a sermon that she shared about what women should do in order to uh, get married or in order to, to become wife, wife material. And she, she pissed off a lot of single women by sharing the video because basically it promoted the idea of having the character of a wife in order to attract a husband. And I think that um, a well, lot of women- th th That's what was, up, was up upsetting? Yeah, and a lot of women were upset because they felt like it was attacking single women. Um, the, the deal was, and I think the gist of the, of the sermon itself was, you know, there is a different spirit when you're dealing with being a girlfriend than there is with dealing, being a wife. Right. I'm gonna approach the, you a certain, a different no, way. no, it's not even it's not even on the man in terms right. of his approach. It's on the woman in terms of how she sees herself okay. right. and her value and her worth. Well, what she was telling women was to level up, you know. Um, yes. And and you know, and people were like, "Oh, Sierra, you know, you were with uh, Pow Wow, you were with Future, and this." And right. she was like, "Yeah, and but she you know, grew, you grew." You know? And I thought that was awesome. And and to try to give you my uh, thing with. Um, James and I, without giving away, because my husband is ultra private. So <laughs> just to give a place people don't know, they'd be like, oh, you guys aren't happy. Or people, I'm like, well, my husband's not like being in pictures. That's my life, not his. Right, He's right, private. That's good. I mean, but we met, we met in um, November. Um, I turned 20 in, uh, no, we met in October. I turned 20 in November. Um, I was pregnant by January. We had moved out by April. Um, we had my son one year at the time we said She's hello. She's reading this right off the paper, too, yes, so you know, it's, you know it's true. Did. Um, and I'll tell you, things move so fast, but by the and then we were married um, by the time my son was eight months old. So within but, a two-year period, it moved that fast. Did you still have but, those glasses? Yes, I still have those is. glasses. But, <laughs> but what I want to share is that things move so fast, but by the time we looked at it, we were 21, mm -hmm. we had mm -hmm. one child, we mm -hmm. were married, and then you're like, oh my goodness, what have we done? So the first um, couple of years of our marriage was hard because, because we yeah. were right. young. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. I had positive people around me that said, you're Absolutely. always going to be stronger if you stay together. But see, that was that generation. What, that about, friends? what about this generation? Well, this, well no, this that's not true the because there's thing. always someone. This generation was no different. There was poison. There was the same thing. You have to keep people around you and keep people out your marriage. Our marriage was our marriage. One thing my husband did, I remember we got into an argument. I wanted to go to my mom's house because <laughs> I all lived around the corner. And he was like, no. And he put his hand on the door and he said, no. If we're going to have an argument, you're going to stay here. If it takes us all night, you're going to argue with me. We're not going to go and bring anyone That's else right. into our you marriage. That's right. You don't bring anybody right. And, and right. we argue there. So That's what something you have that to you realize, don't do. You right. don't put your business out there the, for everyone. And, and, and I'm going to tell you what. That right. saves that saves your marriages. That saves your relationships because. And 24 yes, years. It's two 24 people. 24 years later. Right. No, you know, our kids are grown and two we still people. love each other. And we get along mm -hmm. and we don't. That first couple years was hard, but you know what? You have to decide. Like we went in there knowing, okay, we're going to get married. My son is not going to grow up asking why does his mom and dad have a different name. Exactly. Right. You have to decide that. And you know what? If it James, I'm being honest. If James, when my son was about two years old, was still playing around, I'm sorry, it's over. Well, wow. here's and and I'm I'm I'll, I'll be Kid honest and I will no I'm gonna I'll, I'll you know give as much as can as much candor as I will. It, it was the same for me. Anthony and I did live together. Um, we were together in a relationship since we were kids. I met Anthony my first day of high school and I've oh. never had another boyfriend. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's true. Um, in terms of what it was that I wanted out of life, you know, by the time we, by the time I'm in college, by the time we had two kids, cause you know, we liked the sex. Um, so did I girl. The, so, so now, girl? I'm in college, I'm, I'm 20. And I told him and on my birthday, I said, either you make me your wife right. or I'm, or a year from now, I'm going to be gone. And I gave him that ultimatum because I saw the life that I wanted right. and it looked like 
I was someone's wife. Right. It didn't look like I was a perpetual girlfriend. girlfriend. It didn't look like a baby mama. A, exactly. And right. that's not, you know, when you have that character, when you know that about yourself, I feel and how you I'm have, supposed to be treated. Exactly. Mm. And you you set the standard as a woman. And this is not bashing single women because there are some women who right. who have a spirit that is free enough to to stand on their own and be single. And, there are and that's the way that they want their life to they're look. thinking like right. that. And you that know? man was Daryl and he didn't stand, well, you know, he walked well, away. <laughs> I, I'm going to, I'm going to, now, now, Carmen, uh, I'll let you finish and I'm going to, if I could just have just a little seriousness sure. when I do uh, oh, this, because serious. I'm going to get into my apology oh. and my wife is very w much aware of where I'm going. And that, I, I, I respect you for that. The, the thing that I want to share in terms of um, this 12 years of girlfriend and, and never wife, you have to decide for yourself. And, and this is mm -hmm. men and women alike. You have to decide for yourself what kind of life you want, what you want That's life right. to look right. like. And whether the kinds of people or companions that you choose, right. because we all have choices, mm -hmm. are, are in line with what you want your life to look like. Because my thing is, if you're a free spirit, then you, know, you run through whatever it is you run through. But if you are meant to be, or you have that spirit of a wife or a husband, and you have that, that in you, then you have to choose very wisely who right. you spend your time with right. and don't just spread your flower on anything. I, I you know? agree. Don't That's why you put it in a very hard place to get to. Now, uh, I'm going to just briefly say, uh, reiterate on a few things that I already said and get right into my apology. Uh, uh, again, I was dating someone for way too long, like five, six years. No, we were not living together, but we were in a relationship where everybody's looking at us like, okay, when should you guys get married? Uh, the pressure of that, I had already used her up. There was nothing else to gain. I felt I was young. Excuse the way that I'm describing this. It's horrible. I wanted it somebody horrible. new. I feel like I want to punch him and, in the right now. Me and off. six months later, uh, I was, uh, you know, uh, dating my wife heavily. Six months later after that, we were married. That wow. girl hated me she hates me to this day and that was 24 tires. years yes, ago I, was still I feel bad about that I feel bad about that she turn. got into drugs and Darryl, it was a bad I would make that bad movie scene and um at the end she would stab you but I'm gonna say something else <laughs> not not taking me off the hook but a man will only do what you to you what you allow him to do that goes for a woman too yeah you know so that gets into my apology uh, you know I, I honestly I, I know that uh, one of her relatives listens to the show. I apologize. After all these years, sometimes you just want to hear you're sorry for something that happened Say her in the name, past. Say her name, No, I'm not going to. Because it was a couple <laughs> she, of them. She, yeah, put it on. It, it, it actually was two. Don't do you that. You did two of them in five years? How are you, oh nine? Men, God. a lot of men, a lot of men when they're younger, they don't want to get married. They surrender to marriage. You know, uh, they want to still be free and sow their oats and have fun. Daryl, I could never imagine you sowing anything. Trust Especially me, if you saw me out oats. in the streets, you'd be like, wow, that's him. I did I see you. I saw street. you at the, what was the name of that club? I just saw, saw Daryl right? at yeah, yeah. the last agenda. And, and you got the agenda. Me in agenda. I know we got the move. I was like, what? I know we got I, the move, but I got, you got me in trouble with my wife because I saw, <laughs> I saw, I saw see, Erica. You know what? I saw oh. Erica. I hugged her, okay? I'm, I get home. I smell like perfume. Oh, my wow. wife says, That's Chanel. My wife says, That's you smell like perfume and you got glitter on your clothes. Oh, I did have a lot of glitter oh, on. Oh, she She's like, you seeing that girl again. Maybe she didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> but, you, know, we about, you know, I'm about to get up out of this apology. And we are going to move into Erica's Fitness Minute, which is sponsored by Giovanna Boudreau, who's a blogger and founder of Fit Fit Girls. For those of you looking for encouragement while getting fat and would like to purchase some of her really cool clothing yes. while working out. So be sure to visit Giovanna at www.fitfitgirls.com, as well as on all your major social media media sites um this is where erica does her fitness minute yes and let me tell you before i clean this up i gave daryl a church hug you know so what this Dar was that the wait, wait, wait. and the glare was on his let right just arm say you know, okay so, I, so oh, a church hug anything else. so a church hug is the three pats on the back yeah one two three <laughs> let me tell you this. erica's church hug is non-denominational oh! <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, oh, Leroy it. McCullough. Leroy, <laughs> Leroy, <laughs> Leroy. You better oh, I don't not. know if that's the thing. Okay, okay. So we got a. That was my stepdaddy's name, and I hated him. <laughs> we got. We have a question from a caller. Is Kool Aid really unhealthy since it uses water and it comes sugar free? 
Okay, I'm 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 hoping an adult sent this, but <laughs> Kool Aid is a classic like The Godfather and Lemonheads, right? We got that. <laughs> but the Kool Aid Man is not busting through walls, doors, or floors or ceilings because of his Hulk-like physique, right? Because he big as you know, I can't uh -huh. see it, right? He is just <laughs> demonstrating wow. what any three-year-old would do with an enhanced sugar rush, right? He's just busting stuff over with his big self, Love right? Jesus. Oh, yeah. Right, that's oh, right. Oh, yeah. Big boy. So Kool-Aid is... Hey, Kool-Aid! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Say it, Daryl. Daryl to get Kool-Aid. Oh. Kool-Aid is... I, I don't drink Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Kool-Aid <laughs> is fortified with vitamin C, and you can't control the amount of sugar added, so that narrowly makes it a better choice than pop, but it lacks any other nutritional value, meaning... But the calories from Kool-Aid only come from sugar and other artificial ingredients. More like important, water. that what'd you say? You like that? Water is Oh, nice. water. That's right. But they have water in it. That's what the water color is asking. Uh, um, wine is healthiest from uh, grapes. Uh, wow. You guys, I'm going to... Okay. I grew up in the suburbs. We had We are tang. ruining the fitness minute. Now, I sound like Daryl, don't I? We are ruining the fitness minute. We had Tang. More important... <laughs> Than being un than that being unhealthy is the fact that your healthy body is not a Kool Aid container for anything that has no nutritional value. So don't be like the Kool Aid man. Don't fill your Kool Aid container with Kool Aid. Fill it with water, wine for Carmen, and Tang over here for uh, Daryl. And for me, I'm just gonna do water also. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, All hey, right. Hey. So what does everybody have going on this weekend? Well, um, um, I actually. Uh, this Saturday, I will be at the Glass City Black Comics Fest. All right. Are you going as a black man, or you are? Mm. You know, you know, I, you know, I do have an issue with black thing things that Why? have black in the title. Why? I was wondering that they know before you got I there. Knew. Because I knew. It, it, they're probably it, gonna be like it claims exclusivity. No, it's, are you it's, kidding it's me? celebrating. It's Black History Month. Are you kidding me? Month. It's Black it, History let me, Month. Let me just say this. Hold you, on. If Hold I was on. a white racist and I say, well, where are we gonna get them? Well, there's a black festival. That's where I'm going to go. Stop you know naming what? No, things black. No, this no. Is black welcome History everybody. Month. It's Black you know History what? Month. Everyone is welcome. We're celebrating right. who we are. I mean, my thing is, you don't you don't expect everyone. Hold on. St. Patrick's Day? Everybody celebrates St. Patrick's Day. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Everybody celebrates Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, but it ain't called Mexican Cinco de Mayo. It doesn't have oh, to be. That is festival. horrible. Cinco de Mayo the whole, is the, the whole fifth Polish of May. festival. Well, I hope it's German American, American festival. Before this uh, President's uh, uh, Day. show gets out, I hope that I'm still invited <laughs> to the Glass City Black Comics Fest at the oh, Toledo Lord. Library. I will be a moderator for the film White Scripts and Black Superman. All right. I'm actually looking forward to that. All jokes aside. I'm proud to be uh, a part of this. Awesome. And, um, and, and this is through a contact from Carmen. I appreciate that. Yay. Nice. I will be performing at the distillery on the 17th of February. Come With out. Tight, short come dress. Come dance. Come out, come dance, come dance. Pop, 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 pop. I, um, I have a big event planned. It's not till February 24th. So you guys can go on uh, my Facebook, my Instagram, and also send a link to Daryl. Throw it up on your... Um... I'm not going to do anything with it, but go See, on. See, Daryl, you know what? That is so wrong, Daryl. I'm sorry. Tag me, girl. Tag call. me, girl. I'll tag you. Thank you. That, <laughs> that was me. That is not me. But if it works, and I'm doing this with a friend of the show, Dr. Mitchell. Who I awesome. met. Very yeah. nice. Two, uh, both of the people that you're working right. on. And Sonia. Sonia right. Organic, she came right. on the show. I actually saw her at the... Uh, Club hood party. So you it know was what? not. That's it not. was laughter noon. I can't deal with him. Maybe what did you just call it? A club, a club hood, hood party? party? No. Just anyway, no. it's going to be February 24th. It's going to be downtown at 1806 Madison, which is right above the market on the green, which is Prometica's grocery store downtown. We're hosting it there. It's going to be from 10 to 1. And we're going to teach you Fit Made, Fit Works, and Fit Skin. We're going to show you how to strengthen your skin. There's going to be giveaways. Right now, our um, sponsors are um, both um, Fresh Market and Costco. Awesome. So nice. and we'd like to have you there. I'm uh, going to have a great time. Grazing stations. This is you will never have a free event like this again, all awesome. right? Awesome. So come on out. Um, and to Mr. Reed, can you, you tell us on. what you got going on? I'm actually going to be working on... Wedding uh, dresses. Wedding, yes. <laughs> wedding, more wedding planning. Um, also, uh, shout out to Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, that's my model group that I'm putting together for this year. And uh, working on some more uh, modeling gigs. Um, 
I'm with your clothes on, no more underwear. Yes, no more underwear. Thank you. <laughs> Keith is also my you little anybody, cousin. Oh, you need anybody wow. had a tuck shirt tucked in, bro? Yes. Yeah, so, so you know what? Stop no, it. Stop you, it right you, now. You can't tuck a shirt into the underwear. And they'll be, I'll be like, oh, Keith. Oh, I was like, okay, let me go past. I'm like, I'm not liking any of your pictures as an underwear model. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. <laughs> we would have. <laughs> Oh Lord! You cannot if, like your little cousin's pictures and underwear. That's gross. You know, if you, if you want to, you can catch me on Facebook, oh, yeah. uh, Mr. Would... GQ. Um, and I want to shout out. Mr. I want to shout out Mr. your fiance. R. Dot GQ. Mr. R. Dot GQ. I want right. to shout out his fiance, who is one of the most beautiful shout out to girls my fiance. that I know. She's a very beautiful model. Uh, by her. the way, um, she does models. She and she, she does everything. Uh, she... Lavana Nickerson. My girl. That's my baby. That's my baby right She's there. Awesome. That's all our babies. We talk about you. You gotta share her. I got her first. She don't live with you yet. She don't live with you yet. Uh, we hey, we want to thank everyone for helping us I to got achieve. Five more months. She gonna be there. Uh, <laughs> almost 800 likes to our Facebook page and over 200 subscribers to our YouTube channel. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. So um, thanks everybody for sharing our posts don't forget with your you family can lick and our your page friends. Too. You can lick it. <laughs> Also, okay, please now. subscribe to our show on iTunes. If please. you give us a 4.0 or a 5.0 star review, or better, we will announce your name during the show. Just like our girl, Natasha. What's up, Natasha? Hey. Hey. Please don't forget to check out our sponsors, Three Kings Clothing, Marmite Records, Fit Thick Girls. You can always visit us at www.fullcirclepodcastshow.com, and all our information is there, including ordering my CDs and Daryl's latest book. I'm and actually, Erica's event. And Erica's events. <laughs> I'm actually working on some on uh, modeling for Three Kings. Nice. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yes. No, I am. Don't you see I already have their shirt on? I, I have, their like, their shirts, <laughs> too, girl. They are the shirt. Look, and, and it's that, for that everybody. Fits. That fits. That fits. This is sweet. You can also email us at the Full Circle Podcast Show at gmail.com for questions, comments, or if you want to be a guest or sponsor of the show or an episode. Yeah. You can talk, check us out on Apple Podcasts, yes. Spotify, um, Stitcher. Thank you. And remember, take a stand for something. You have an opinion? Use it. Good night, everybody. Ooh, good, good night. Good show, guys. Pride. Pride. Let's get it together. Education. Let's get it together. Marriage. Let's get it together. Politics. Let's get it together. Full circle. Poverty. Let's get it together. Race, race, let's get it together. Full circle.